You don't just wake up someday and decide I'm going to drop out of the U.S. consumeristic society and move to Honduras and live on a small Caribbean island in search of a more meaningful and simplistic life. It's a process. For me, the first step was pursuing the American dream, uh, going to college, getting a job, starting a business, being successful, and successful not only in your career, but also financially and socially, and acquiring the things that are supposed to bring you happiness, a nice home, a fancy car, lots of things. That's where happiness is promised to us in the United States under our consumeristic society. And then discovering that that doesn't bring you happiness, that you aren't as satisfied as you thought you would be. And thinking the answer is getting more things and earning more money and being more successful. After all, there are people with bigger houses and nicer cars, and maybe if I had those things, I could do it. And realizing that that takes you into a spiral of stress and jealousy and unfulfillment and the harder you work, the more behind you seem, and the more dissatisfied with the things that you have. And then finally, one day realizing that maybe, maybe the key to success isn't upward into more financial and career success and more and more things. Maybe it's downward. Maybe it's in a more simplistic life with less things and less responsibility to just be more satisfied. And so you start watching YouTube videos about people making homesteads in Alaska or building farms in Panama or living on a sailboat. I was totally obsessed with van life. And you use those as escapism to think maybe I could have a life like that. But it's just a dream, right? It's just escapism. It's something when you can't sleep at night, you lay in bed and you think about. You don't really think you're going to do it. And then one night at 3 a.m., because you're always awake at 3 a.m. with a panic attack and anxiety about the crushing pressure of your profession and your life, and you just think, I can't do this anymore. Like an alcoholic that hits rock bottom, you hit rock bottom on the American dream. And you think, if I keep doing this, it's going to kill me. That's when you decide that this is going to be more than just a dream. You're going to do it. You're going to figure out a way and it will seem impossible. And it will be something you can't just run out and do. You're going to have to plan and work for it. Like everything else you've worked for your life that has had meaning. And so you start to do it. That is when you find out that there is more to life than owning stuff. There's more to happiness than being successful, that you were right. Those things come not from having more, but having less.